Hello, young explorers. Welcome to another incredible adventure on Fun Animals for Kids. Today, we're going on an amazing journey to discover one of the most fascinating creatures on our planet, the silkworm. These remarkable insects have changed human history in ways you might never imagine. Silkworms aren't actually worms at all. They're caterpillars, the larvae of the silk moth. For thousands of years, silkworms have been working alongside humans, creating one of the most beautiful fabrics in the world, silk. These tiny creatures spin cocoons made of a single thread that can stretch over a mile long. Can you believe that? That's longer than 20 football fields placed end to end. Silkworms have been domesticated for so long that they can no longer survive in the wild. They depend on humans for their survival, and we depend on silkworms for their amazing silk. This relationship between humans and silkworms is one of the oldest examples of animal domestication in history. Let's take a closer look at what makes silkworms so special. A typical silkworm is about three inches long when fully grown. They have soft, plump bodies that are whitish or cream-colored. Silkworms have tiny legs called prolegs that help them grip onto mulberry leaves, their favorite food. The most incredible part of a silkworm's body is its silk glands. These special organs produce a liquid protein that hardens when it contacts air, creating the strong silk thread that silkworms use to build their cocoons. A single silkworm can produce about 1,000 feet of silk thread in its lifetime. Silkworms have poor eyesight but an excellent sense of smell. They use their antennae to find their way around and locate fresh mulberry leaves to munch on. Despite their name, silkworms are not slimy like earthworms. Their bodies are covered with fine, short hairs that you can barely see. The history of silkworms is absolutely fascinating for kids who love learning about ancient times. Silkworms originally came from China, where people discovered their amazing silk-making abilities over 5,000 years ago. Legend says that a Chinese empress named Lady Sealing Shi discovered silk when a silkworm cocoon fell into her cup of hot tea and began to unravel into a long, shimmering thread. For centuries, China kept silkworms a carefully guarded secret. Anyone who tried to smuggle silkworms or their eggs out of the country could be punished by death. Eventually, silkworms spread to other parts of Asia, the Middle East, and Europe along the famous Silk Road, a network of trade routes connecting East and West. Wild silk moths evolved from ancestors that lived millions of years ago. But the silkworms we use for silk production today have been domesticated for so long that they've changed dramatically from their wild relatives. Modern silkworms are larger, produce more silk, and have lost their ability to fly when they become moths. In the wild, the ancestors of silkworms lived in forests across Asia, particularly in China, Korea, and Japan. These wild silk moths would lay their eggs on mulberry trees, providing an immediate food source for their caterpillars when they hatched. Today, domesticated silkworms live entirely in human-created habitats. Silkworm farmers, called sericulturists, raise silkworms in special nurseries where temperature and humidity are carefully controlled. Young silkworms are kept on trays lined with mulberry leaves or artificial food. As they grow, silkworms are moved to larger spaces where they have plenty of room to spin their cocoons. Silkworms prefer warm, humid conditions similar to the forest habitats where their wild ancestors once lived. They're sensitive creatures and need clean, well-ventilated spaces to thrive. A single silkworm nursery might house thousands or even millions of silkworms all munching away on mulberry leaves. Silkworms are incredibly picky eaters. In fact, they almost exclusively eat mulberry leaves. This specialization is so extreme that scientists call silkworms monophagous, which means they only eat one type of food. Young explorers, 
Can you imagine only eating one food for your entire life? A hungry silkworm can eat its weight in mulberry leaves every day. They have strong jaws that make quick work of the leaves, turning them into the proteins they need to grow and eventually produce silk. Silkworm farmers must constantly provide fresh leaves to their hungry silkworms. Silkworms spend most of their short lives eating. They grow incredibly fast, increasing their body weight about 10,000 times in just a month. During this growing phase, silkworms molt or shed their skin four times as they outgrow their old coverings. After their final molt, silkworms are ready to begin spinning their magnificent cocoons. The life of a silkworm is a fascinating cycle of transformation. It all begins when a female silk moth lays hundreds of tiny eggs, each about the size of a pinhead. After about 10 days, miniature silkworms hatch from these eggs, ready to begin their incredible journey. These baby silkworms are voracious eaters. They munch on mulberry leaves day and night, growing rapidly. After about a month of continuous eating, silkworms are ready for their next big step, spinning a cocoon. Using special glands in their heads, silkworms produce liquid silk that hardens into a thread when it contacts air. Each silkworm wraps itself in this thread, moving its head in a figure eight pattern for three days straight until it's completely enclosed in a cocoon. Inside this silky shelter, something magical happens. The silkworm transforms into a pupa and begins its metamorphosis into a moth. If allowed to develop naturally, a silk moth would emerge from the cocoon after about two weeks. However, in silk production, most cocoons are harvested before the moths can emerge, as the emerging moth would break the continuous silk thread. Some moths are allowed to emerge so they can mate and lay eggs, continuing the cycle for another generation of silkworms. While silkworms might not seem like the most intelligent creatures, they do have fascinating ways of sensing their world and communicating with each other. Silkworms rely heavily on chemical signals called pheromones. Adult silk moths use these special scents to find mates. Female moths release a pheromone that male moths can detect from incredible distances. Silkworms also communicate through touch. When many silkworms live together, they often touch and crawl over each other, which helps distribute heat and may share information about food sources or danger. Although silkworms don't have complex brains like mammals, they do display innate intelligence in their silk spinning behavior. Without any training or practice, a silkworm knows exactly how to create its perfect cocoon, a feat of natural engineering that humans have marveled at for thousands of years. Few animals have influenced human civilization like the humble silkworm. For kids interested in history and culture, silkworms offer an amazing story of how a tiny insect changed the world. Silk was once so valuable that it was worth its weight in gold. Kings and queens across the world coveted silk garments, and the fabric became a symbol of wealth and power. The desire for silk created one of history's most important trade networks, the Silk Road, which connected cultures across Asia, the Middle East, and Europe. In ancient China, silkworms were considered sacred. The process of raising silkworms and harvesting silk was kept secret for centuries. Empresses would personally oversee silkworm cultivation, and elaborate ceremonies honored these tiny creatures for their contributions to society. Even today, silk remains an important part of many cultures. In Japan, silkworms and silk production are celebrated in festivals and art. In India, silk saris are treasured family heirlooms passed down through generations. The impact of silkworms on human culture is truly remarkable.
Although domesticated silkworms live entirely under human care, their wild relatives play important roles in their natural ecosystems. Wild silk moths are pollinators, helping flowers reproduce and produce seeds and fruits. As caterpillars, they're also an important food source for birds, bats, and other predators. The mulberry trees that silkworms depend on are also ecologically important plants. Their deep root systems prevent soil erosion, and their leaves and fruits provide food for many wildlife species. Mulberry trees can live for hundreds of years, creating stable habitats in their ecosystems. In areas where silk is produced, silkworm farming creates sustainable agricultural systems. After the silk is harvested, the leftover silkworm pupae are rich in protein and are often used as food for fish, chickens, and other animals, reducing waste in the production process. In the wild, silkworms and their ancestors developed several clever ways to protect themselves from predators. The most obvious is their camouflage. Wild silkworms are often greenish or brownish, helping them blend in with mulberry leaves and branches. When threatened, silkworms can also use motion to confuse predators. They might drop from a leaf on a silk thread, quickly escaping to safety below. Some wild silkworms even have spots that look like eyes, which can startle birds and other predators. Of course, the silkworm's ultimate defense mechanism is its cocoon. This protective shell shields the developing pupa from predators, parasites, and harsh weather conditions. The silk thread is not only strong, but also has antibacterial properties that help keep the pupa healthy during its transformation. Young explorers, get ready for some amazing silkworm facts that will amaze your friends and family. Did you know that silkworms make a crunching sound when they eat? A room full of hungry silkworms sounds like rain falling on a roof. Silkworms have blue blood. Unlike humans with red blood, silkworm blood contains a copper-based compound that appears blue. If you touch a silkworm, it might do a funny dance. When disturbed, silkworms sometimes raise their heads and sway from side to side in a behavior called head flicking. A single silk cocoon contains about 600 to 900 yards of silk thread. But when unwound carefully, the thread can stretch up to a mile long. Silkworms see the world very differently from us. They can see ultraviolet light that's invisible to human eyes. Scientists continue to be fascinated by silkworms. Researchers are studying silkworm silk to create new materials for medical use, like artificial skin, bone grafts, and surgical sutures. The natural properties of silk make it compatible with human tissue, opening up exciting possibilities for medicine. Genetic research on silkworms has helped scientists understand how insects grow and develop. By studying silkworm genes, researchers have learned how to create silk with new properties, like increased strength or even the ability to conduct electricity. In space experiments, silkworms have been taken aboard space shuttles to see how microgravity affects their ability to spin silk. These studies help scientists understand how living things adapt to extreme environments. While domesticated silkworms aren't endangered, they face challenges from diseases that can spread quickly through silkworm nurseries. Sericulturists work hard to keep their silkworms healthy through careful breeding and clean facilities. Wild relatives of silkworms face bigger threats. Habitat loss from deforestation and agriculture has reduced the natural range of wild silk moths in many parts of Asia. Climate change also poses challenges, as shifting temperatures can disrupt the timing of moth emergence and mulberry leaf growth. Conservation efforts are underway to protect the genetic diversity of both wild and domesticated silk moths. This diversity is crucial for maintaining healthy silkworm populations and developing silkworms that are resistant to diseases and changing environmental conditions.
Young explorers, we've journeyed through the amazing world of silkworms today. From their ancient history in China to their continued importance in modern science, silkworms have truly earned their place as one of nature's most remarkable creatures. These tiny insects with their extraordinary ability to create silk have connected cultures, inspired art, advanced science, and clothed humanity for thousands of years. All this from a small caterpillar that eats mulberry leaves. The story of silkworms teaches us that even the smallest creatures can make an enormous difference in our world. Every animal, no matter how tiny, has an important role to play in the web of life on our beautiful planet. We hope this adventure into the world of silkworms has sparked your curiosity for kids learning about the natural world. There's so much more to discover about the amazing animals we share our Earth with. What incredible creature will we explore next? Join us for more educational videos in our next exciting episode on fun animals for kids. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more animal adventures and learning videos that bring the wonders of wildlife for kids to your screen. Tell your friends about our kids channel where fun learning happens every day. Remember young explorers, knowledge about animals for kids isn't just fun. It helps us understand and protect our natural world for future generations. Keep exploring, keep learning, and keep loving the amazing animals that make our planet so special. See you next time on YouTube Kids with another animal adventure from Fun Animals for Kids.